uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be talking about the web history api inside our javascript so basically web history api guys basically allows you to go forward backward inside your uh, javascript or basically html applications inside the browser let me discuss this class with we will be discussing all these methods so in detail so you can see that let me change the title here to web history api in javascript so inside this let me, you can see this is our index page out there so let me just write this is the home page so you can see on the right hand side this is the home page so now let me just create two more pages out there inside the root directory so we will create second page second.html and the third page third.html so now we have three pages out there so let me just write here this is the second page and inside third.html we just need to write this is the third page so for navigation it is very much useful with this web history api so now inside this we can link up to we can simply say here go to second html we will just make a simple anchor tag and we will simply say go to second page so now if you see there it will create this let me put a break tag here it will create this you will see hyperlink out there so if i click on this i will navigate to the second page you will see that and inside second.html we will again have a simple hyperlink which will go to the third page you will see go to third page so this is very simple we have three anchor tags out there you can see that this is a third page so now what i want to do right here guys basically i need to have a go back functionality so something like this so if i go backward i can go backward here so i need to implement this functionality inside the browser itself so for this we can use the web history api so this web history api guys supports I can just have a script tag here and simply I can have a button here basically uh, two buttons out there it will go back and uh, when you click this button we will execute this method go back and uh, the second button will be go forward like this so if i now go to this page here so what i can do is that i can put a break tag here so these are the two buttons out there you will see that one will go to back and one will go forward so we will again bind a on click listener here so basically whenever you click this button what should happen here so we will here go forward we will execute this method so now we just need to write these two methods out there so for going backwards guys there is a method inside web history api we'll use the web history api for this and inside this we will simply say history dot and these are the methods which are there guys either you can go back forward and for this we can simply need to go backward you can see that so now we will define our go forward method as well so inside this we will just need to go forward so you will call this forward method like this so now if you click on go forward you need to first of all go to the second page here and same functionality we need to implement it on the uh, this page also if you see we need to have the same methods out there in the second html as well so basically here in the second page as well and same we need to do this as well so we will define this function as well like this so function go back and also in the third page also we will define these two buttons out there so two buttons will be there go back go forward and we will call this function which is so we have three pages out there you can see that 
paste it so now what will happen if i click go back it will go back to the you can see that now if i implement this if i say go back it will go back to the home page you will see that if i go to the second page and let me put a break tag here if i need to go backwards here i can go to the second page and if i need to go backwards again i will go put back to the home page you can see that so now it is perfectly working it is calling this web history api methods guys back and forward these are the two methods which are required now you can even go to the forward page you can see forward button will also work you can see backward button is also working so if you want to implement the navigation purposes guys if you want to implement go backwards or forwards you can use this web history api inside javascript basically these two methods are there and also you can uh, keep track of how many pages the user has visited inside a single session so basically we can print out number of pages visited basically we can dynamically put this variable so right here after this put a break tag and so inside this dynamically we will print out so right here we will simply say here document dot get element by id pages and here we will manipulate the inner html property here the number of pages visited but in session is and here we will simply bind a method guys which is basically it history dot length so basically this is a method guys it will exactly tell you how many pages the user has visited in this session so if i go forward and go back again so this is pages here you will see that let me just see if i go forward again forward go back go back if i go to console here history dot length is not a function sorry it's a property not a function so it's not a function it's a property so once again if you open with live server so currently number of pages visited in session is one because we only visited the home page we open this if i go forward here if i go to the second page go to the third page so now i can click go back go back so now you can see number of pages visited in session is three so it is keep tracking of how many pages the user has visited so again you if you visit these pages the value will not change it will once again be three so unique pages it is keeping track of how many unique pages the user has visited so it's a very useful method if you want to keep track of the user how many pages the user has visited inside your website so it is very much useful number for user engagement as well whenever if you have a blog website or a shopping cart website you can keep track of how many pages the user has visited so it's a very handy method and one other method guys basically it's uh, if you want to go back to a certain page let's suppose i can implement this on the third page so we can have a third button out there so if you want to go to home page what we can simply say is that here we will simply define on click here and here this has a go method out there history dot go and inside this you will pass a number so let's suppose i want to go to the home page so i will move minus two so this will be going back directly to the home page so what i will meant by this you will see if i directly hit this button i will redirect to the home page you will see that and similarly if i want to go to the third page from the home page i will define another button you will simply say go to third page directly so in this case we will pass two number here which is history dot go and here we will pass the two number because we need to go in positive direction in forward direction so that's why 
so for this you need to have first of all visited those web websites manually so you need to first of all go to manually here and now these buttons will work perfectly if you go to the third page you can see you can get directly go to the third page by visit clicking this button go to the home page go forward go back so you can see that the number of pages visited in session is three so this is basically in a nutshell web history api so these four methods three methods and one property is there so if you like this video then please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much